Look at that. <gasps> it cracked the other. <gasps> oh, no way. Um, so I don't know if you remember about a month or so ago, no, more than a month no, ago, like a couple of weeks ago, actually. June. I, Anyways, end of June. somewhere on the YouTube channel, we've posted a video. Um, of getting crocodile eggs. Yeah, so basically we are at uh, Emily's family reptile farm and they have African dwarf crocodiles and they've been breeding them for a couple of years. A couple, more like 20, well, 20, 25 years. You know, a lot of years. <laughs> Um, and the babies, well, they just hatch. Exactly. They're starting to hatch yeah. right now. So and we have some baby crocodiles in the incubator, and two of them hatched already. Uh, one a few days ago, and one this morning. And now we're going to um, open the rest of the eggs to make sure that they're all healthy inside, because now it's been a few days that they're starting to hatch. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do right now, and we're so, really excited. Yeah, we're used to cut. Like personally, I'm used to cut ball python eggs. I've seen, you know, a few colubrids. Uh, but crocodiles, that's yeah, like the is. pinnacle of any her passionate person. Yeah. Hatching crocodiles is like and now, so cool. Yeah, and it's also going to be a family thing. So we're going to yeah. be all the family together opening yeah. eggs. So it might be her a bit dad's like, and brother and you know. Yeah, yeah. My, so it might be harder to film just us with the eggs. So it's going to be like a family. So yeah, probably we're just going to film over the eggs. And probably after that, we're going to do something with the babies after. But yeah. you know. We'll They're in the incubator right now, and we're super stoked. Okay, let's go. I'm really thrilled right now. I can't contain my joy. Um, you want to see what's inside? Let's check it out. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. Holy crap. <gasps> Hi, baby. Oh, Jeremy picked a bad egg. <laughs> What's in it? Nothing. Like, it's not even egg white? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like egg white. Pour it out. <laughs> Ça sent pas. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, now that you didn't, you didn't get a good one, you gotta eat it. Yes. Je pense qu'il va être bon. Is there a difference in like the leaves? How the eggs feel? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Did I pick? <gasps> I picked a good egg. <laughs> there you go. I picked a good egg, everybody. See? Oh, look at that. <gasps> it cracked the other. <gasps> oh, no way. What the hell? It's a little mouth right there. That's the mouth? Yeah. Jake, is this only? Oh my god. That's Jurassic Park vibes. Big time. <laughs> like, big time. <laughs> An egg with a snout. Oh my god. Hey, little buddy. Basically, we just opened the eggs and uh, we ended up having three eggs that were fertile. This um, one's out. This one's already out. It's the one you saw. And uh, I think it's total. More. I don't remember when we went to go get the eggs. There might have been 17, 17 or something I, like I that. I have 17 in mine as, as well, so yeah. I think that's it. And so uh, the male, like we said, he's really old. He's from the end of, he was born in the end of the 1970s. So he's fairly old, so the eggs are less and less good, but we're still lucky to have gotten um, three of them. The last babies we had were three years ago. So yeah, so these ones are not out yet. They're still. We're gonna let them come out by their own. But the, all the other ones are rotten. And this one, you know, already came out. 
And basically we incubated these eggs a little uh, hotter than we usually would because we wanted to have colder, sorry, um, my bad, colder because we wanted to have uh, males in, the, in this clutch because previous clutches were mostly females. So the main goal was to have a male to, uh, you know, uh, have a new breeder since the other one is really, really old. So there you go, guys. A baby Super. African oh God, look at dwarf drinking juices. <laughs> baby African dwarf crocodile. Look at that. The feet are super tiny. It's just a crazy little thing to have. The experience of holding a freshly hatched baby crocodilian. It's like as a reptile passion, reptile keeper. You hatch baby snakes. You hatch baby lizard turtles, turtoys, and it's such a cool experience but having the opportunity to hold um like a baby crocodile it's just like it's breathtaking honestly Look at I'm, his head wobbly. yeah as i'm moving mine it's just like you know you know the little thing you put in the front of your car just like <laughs> nod their head like this like that but. oh a fly so you see with the fly the size of that little baby croc it's crazy man yeah so that's just like the pinnacle of reptile keeping i hope you really enjoyed this video uh it was absolutely an insane experience to do such a thing. And um, I'll put down in the link uh, below in the comment, uh, in, the, in the comment box, I'll put uh, the Exoterium, the reptile farm, uh, the reptile family farm of uh, Emily's family uh, description. So you can go check that out. And, uh, you know, be sure to subscribe and check out for more. See you next time.